<clears throat> All right, I'm live on Facebook. What's up, everyone? Your friendly neighborhood boy blew up on here. What up, Vince, in the chat? Hi. Um, and Nightbot, always holding it down, keeping it gangster. What's up, Nightbot? Hell yeah, fam. Loyal supporter there. Um, nevertheless, uh, you know, um, <laughs> I've been taking a little break, you know, um, little break from YouTube and just uh, having some alone time, you know, just chilling, listening to music. You know, I don't have to be live on the Internet to listen to some music, you know. And, well, um, I'm actually trying to grow my vlog channel. Um, so if you check that out, um, Fred the Boy Blue, if you just Google Fred the Boy Blue, you'll find my vlog channel and other pages for me for my social media and shit. But, yeah, I think it's fucking hilarious. I think it's actually really funny and entertaining, um, truthfully. Uh, well, it's fucked up to know that there were so many fake people, you know, smiling in my face, but, you know, talking shit behind my back, you know, and to see how they truly feel about me, you know, and will turn on me and talk all this shit at the drop of a dime. It's ridiculous. Uh, mm. It's really fucked up to know that I thought these people I considered were my friends, you know, let people blow shit out of proportion and then freaking, you know, turn on me, make, make people turn on me, you know, when I needed them the most, you know, you know, I'm, I was telling y'all, you know, this motherfucker is sick. He made this horrible fucking fake screenshot got the mother of my children mad at me. You know, and I was just letting y'all know how much of a piece of shit he really was, you know, and then you let him turn it around on me. It's fucking stupid. I'm, I'm literally fucking befuddled over this, but I guess it needed to happen to weed out the fakes and shit, you know. So, you know, all those people who no longer support me, never come to my shows anymore, you know, fuck them. I don't need them. I'm glad they're gone. You know, I don't want anybody fake fucking watching me. So, or supporting me. I don't need your fucking support. If you really think that I'm a fucking chomo or a fucking supporter of them, you're fucking retarded. There's nothing more to say about it. You're just fucking stupid and retarded. You know, I understand there are some actual retards do, that do watch me, but seriously, people I thought had some fucking common sense and human decency and fucking... Uh, you know, like, and was my friend, you know, to find out, you know, what they really fucking think of me to fucking let people slander my name and believe lies and fucking make me out to be such a horrible person and everything like that. And if you know me, I'm not a bad person, except for when I get blackout drunk, I do stupid shit like a schizophrenic or something. I can, I can get a little schizo sometimes. That's cool. You know, but I love everyone who puts up with that, my crazy schizo side, you know, um, you know, I'm one sick fuck, you know, but I am not no fucking kitty fiddler. All right? And it really fucking offends me for people saying this shit about me. It really fucking offends me bringing my kids into this shit. And I tell you all about it and I need your fucking, you know, I look for help and sympathy and support from my juggalo family and they all turn on me, you know, they take one little fucking thing, which, which was actually perfectly fucking legal and consensual in the state of Delaware you know, um, and it's just stupid. People are trying to blow shit up out of, out of nothing, out of literally fucking nothing. Oh, I'm really, I'm, I am, I missed the, I'm, um, losing out on a lot of money over this shit. I am, you know, my first month on YouTube, I made like $500, you know, so I think we're looking up, we're looking good for me, you know? And then this shit happens. And then just in time for the holidays, too, for Christmas and shit. You know? So, I guess it is what it is. Like I said, I know who my real friends are now. Uh, believe it or not, yes, I do still got love and support from fucking real friends. You know? Not no fake phonies. So, I love and appreciate all my true supporters out there. You know, who are real juggalo family and homies of mine, or even if you're not a juggalo and you appreciate my content. And even especially the fucking haters who watch me just to criticize me and 
try to leave a hateful con comment that I won't let get through, you know, and I don't even read. As soon as, soon as I see you're on some hateration shit, hide, block, delete. Bye now. Um, you mean nothing to me. You mean absolutely nothing to me. And uh, I guess truthfully, I guess you never did. Because, you know, now I found out, you know, how these people really are. You know, so fuck them, you know. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to fucking do me anyways, regardless. Keep fucking grinding. You know, I'm just, like I said, I'm taking a little break, though. I have been taking a little break, just, you know, getting my bearings straight and just having some alone time, some me time. You know, I reached my goal of getting monetization on the Boy Blue 9982 and Juggalo Drama Alert. Now my next goal is to get a 1,000 subscribers and the watch time up on my vlog channel, Fred the Boy Blue. Um, which I will get the Nightbot to post in the chat for anyone who is not subscribed. There we go. I should post momentarily. Um, but yeah, you know, to sum it up, you know, fuck the fakes, the phonies. Fucking smile in your face, but talk shit behind your back, people, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, Damn. I don't even fucking care if you came crawling back with a fucking apology. You know, the trust is just never there again. So fuck you. I, I don't need you. I'm not going to beg for your fucking friendship. Is this the real Michael Cash? Let's see. Yes, it is. What up, Michael Cash? What's up? Can you hear me? Hold on. I need to put on my earbuds. You're breaking up. I'm breaking up. You're breaking up a little bit. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. There you are. What's up, man? What's up with you? I'm just ranting, you know, talking. Um, I, I haven't been posting that much on these channels, so I figured I'd let y'all know that I'm okay. I'm doing all right. You know, it's just, uh, you know, I, I am a little depressed over the situation, but, you know, I guess it, it just, everything happens for a reason. Man. Yeah, well, that shit happens. You just got to get past it. Yeah, it'll blow over and I'll find new friends, you know, hopefully real ones. At least I still got you, you know, um, and a few others, you know, but the majority, like over 30 to 40 people unsubscribed from me. So far. Well, I guess they're they're haters rather than uh, friends. Do you think I give a fuck about them? I have thousands of subscribers. What the fuck is 40 to me? Nothing. I have yep. thousands of followers on all social media, friends on Facebook, likes on my, my pages, uh, followers on Twitter, Instagram. I'm fairly popular on Instagram. You can't cancel me. I'm not going anywhere. You still using that stereo app? I haven't been going on there. I'm going to force myself to to uh, post more on there because it's a fun way to meet new people. And then also, if you ever want to do a show, let me know and we'll set something up on there because I, I really yeah, do like cool. that app. It's a fun app. Yeah. If anyone I've never heard of that. that uh, I've been bumping that Loom app, man. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Yeah, I was on there. You suggested that to me, so I was checking it out. I'm a fan of yours on there. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll try to um, use coins and, or tokens or whatever to try to help you out. Like, can I do that to help support you on that app? Yeah, uh, you can send coins, and what it does is if you get, like, 10,000 coins, so much of it converts into cash. Real so money. Like, yeah, basically. Wow, okay. Let me see. Let me look at it real quick and I'll tell you. I'm all about real money shit, but yeah, I need to make a, well, I'm not really an artist. I don't claim to be an artist. You know, I'm just a uh, brain sick. What's up, Ricky? So right now I got 223 of them. And then when you get, uh, I think it's 10,000, you can cash out for like a certain percentage of money. Yeah, I think you can also make money on stereo. Um, if you are like the most popular, one of the most popular people on there, I think there's cash prizes. I was checking out like there's a leaderboard on there and it says like the top winner can get like $10,000. So that would be fucking dope. If you do like a daily stream too, it'll give you so many of those coins too. Oh, yeah. 
I think yeah. listeners can get them too. Yeah. They have like a tire one is 200, a tire two is uh, 1,500, and then tire three is 6,000. Mm. <clears throat> Hell yeah, that's what's up. It's pretty dope, man. I'm still playing with it and shit. I'm, I'm mainly just posting music to it right now and then trying to build that part up and then, you know, do the other stuff and see what's going on with it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, but no, I really need to start getting serious here. It's just I am. I'm a lazy white piece of shit, and I am a procrastinator, and it's hard for me to figure things out sometimes, you know, but I will bounce back from this shit. And I'll fucking, you know, figure out ways to get more subscribers and hopefully more financial supporters and or at least more views so I can make ad revenue, you know. So I just I got to push promote even harder on Facebook and Instagram and stuff, you know, link in my bio, you know, shit like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, but what's up, Ricky, in the chat? And that's another thing. A lot of people are uh, lurkers now. The, they will watch me, but they won't say anything in fear of being ridiculed for watching me. You know, and that's just fucking ridiculous. You know, but I guess thanks to the lurkers, you know, trying to get them views and more interaction on my content, more positive interaction, you know. And I have no problem with cutting all the negativity out of my life. If you're a stupid, hateful piece of shit, you know, I'm not going to, I'm done with second chances. I'm not going to be unblocking anyone from my main channel or Juggalo Drama Alert anytime soon because I don't feel like having to reblock everyone, which is a lot of people who try to attack me, who try to watch me just to attack me, leave a dislike and a negative comment that I will not let through so no one will see. <laughs> so it's fucking hilarious. Speaking of, uh attacking and uh do you see that shit about uh that ajax posted about uh what's his name ryan upchurch uh he's still at it with him uh i don't know i haven't checked in a while to see but i, I seen some stuff the other day on that that's funny well didn't he he made a video response to him and got like thousands of views on it didn't he uh did he you talking I about think... ryan upchurch did or no, yeah, like last year, I think, um, you know, uh, Ajax did a diss on Upchurch, and it, it got fairly popular, I think. No, nah, this was more recent on his channel. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, maybe they're going at it again. I don't know. Hold on, I'll tell you the name of the uh, video. But you couldn't hardly hear the... I don't know, man. He he's. I think he's in a in a stage where he's trying to be a rapper, but it, uh, it ain't working. <laughs> well, he you got to get in a professional booth if you want to be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was doing a little bit better, but then like that one song, the beat was way too loud, and you could barely hear him. You know, like yeah, he needs to work on how he uh, puts his songs together a little better there. Yeah. Let me see. I think it's, uh, he said the, well, let's see. I'm looking through his videos. I'm trying to remember where, where I saw it. Mike, don't fucking drink a lot of G fuel before you go to bed, dude. I stayed up all night the other night. I could not get one wink of sleep. Yeah, I, I did that to stay awake, though, the other night. Yeah, if you drink like, like three or four scoops in one cup, dude, you will be just wide awake. You won't be able to sleep. It's crazy. I, I, I've gotten a little bit of sleep since the other day, but I'm still wired, dude. Because <laughs> you've been drinking the G Fuel? Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, because I know you like your energy drinks, but this shit is like, you know, you can you can choose how strong you want your energy drink to be, you know? Don't want an extra scoop there, you know what I mean? And I like the taste of it, too. I like it. So... I don't know. Yeah, They're not my sponsor. It was a little while back that I saw that. Maybe it wasn't as new as I thought it was. I think maybe he did make another recent video diss to him. Um, but yeah, he, he was fucking with them last year too. Yeah. Well, he he uh, he commented that it would be the last review he does on the video I saw. 
the last one on up church or the last one in general uh the last one on up church oh okay but you know up church is funny as hell man if he catches wind of that man he's gonna make fun of ajax so hard man do you know why he hates uh up church so much no i don't that's weird I saw one video of Up Church, like where he was rapping to a Eminem beat, or it's like the the country Slim Shady they called him, or something like that. And he actually has some bars, you know. It's like okay, country rapper, cool. Maybe maybe he can collaborate with Boondocks, make some wicked shit. That would be dope. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh. Yeah, Insecure by Ajax the Jump. It's okay. It yes. was posted three months ago. I remember that. Yes. How many views does it got? Uh, three hundred and forty-eight. Oh, I that's think it's it. Just clout chasing views. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I was thinking of fucking MC Nemesis getting a popular diss, just getting like related video views because he was attacking someone big. I forget. Life yeah. is a blur. I don't give a fuck. Got to hit the bolt again. Yeah. <clears throat> so what you say? You're hitting the studio again today? Yeah. Be working on some some other stuff since i've been on this loom app i'm mainly trying to produce beats now so that i can uh start getting some clientele with that and see how that goes because you can sell beats through your loom app are you good at making beats uh i'm decent i mean they're more rock oriented because I use all the instruments and shit, but a lot of people are getting into that stuff now, from what I can tell. Mm -hmm. It's in the whole rock and rap thing. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, but um, I should take the time to listen to, check out some more of your music. I've just been um, jamming out to like some Twisted, and I got so many CDs that I can listen to, and you know, it's like I don't know. I've been trying to have some alone time, you know, take a break from all this nonsense on the internet and just jam out to some records, you know, just me, no internet and shit, you know? And I need yeah. to fucking take the time and play video games. I never play my fucking Super Nintendo or my PlayStation. They just fucking sit there and look pretty. I need to fucking... Yeah, I, I don't... I, don't play, I bought a Wii back when it came out. It's been probably, what, 10 years ago, but... I, I rarely play it anymore. I mean, I got internet now, you know. My last birthday in September, I got a lot of money for my birthday. So I bought the PlayStation, a new TV, you know. Now I got internet. I need to fucking utilize this shit and try to work harder at making more money on YouTube, you know. Then my Xbox, I got it, but I hardly ever play it either. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I needed to find more time for myself, you know, instead of trying to be this personality on the internet. You know, I mean, you say it's a job. Did it start out as a job for you? No, it did not. But then once I realized I could make money out off of it, you know, I wanted to capitalize on that as much as possible. Like once something becomes a job, it gets hard for people to really want to do that consistently is what I was going to say. I've gotten lazy. I have. I've lost my mojo. I'm lazy. I'm a procrastinator. Sometimes I'm just so depressed. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like enjoying a video game or sometimes even listening to music, you know, but my favorite pastime is listening to music, you know, and, and drinking, but I'm doing my best not to drink during the week. I'm just going to drink on the weekends. Don't get like me, man. Start drinking on the weekends and then it become one of them habits where every time you're out of the house, you're drinking and Nope, I'm not going to let that happen because I tried telling myself I tried telling myself that before and, and did just that and drank up was binge drinking all the time. But I, I'm going to I'm going to be strong and I'm not going to drink throughout the week and only drink like a couple of times on the weekends. You know, every time I've had a relapse, that's that was my story. I'm just going to drink one or two on the weekend. I'll be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I, I said the same thing about crack before, you know, <laughs> and there goes all my money. Yeah. I recently, I did, I was doing good not smoking cigarettes, but uh, I got a pack just a little while ago. 
I got a pack of smokes and uh, kind of makes me, I actually want to go out for one right now. I got to switch devices. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, stopped smoking completely, but I'm down to about like a half a pack a day. Once I, once I finish my carton out completely, then I'll start the gum and then see where I can go from there. Half a pack was normal to me. Um, at one point, but now I'll drink, or not drink, but smoke like 15 cigarettes in a day. I well, see, I was, smoking, day. I was smoking almost two packs a day. Wow. Yeah. Damn, fam. Well, cigarettes are a lot cheaper in Kentucky. Are they? Yeah, I mean, you know, you get a pack of ways for like three bucks, you know. What, are they not taxed as much? No. Nah. Because, yeah, like every other year, it seems cigarettes and alcohol go up here. How much are cigarettes where you are? Uh, I just got a pack of Pall Mall for six ninety, But like Newports, I think, are like seven seven fifty, or more, depending on where you go. Damn, talk about no lube. <laughs> you get those for like three thirty three at uh, Chris's gas station up the store. Well, some places I've got Paul Mall's for like um for like five thirty, five fifty five, but I think I paid like five I think it said five ninety. Yeah, earlier at my uh quickie mart. You know the quickie marts, the neighborhood quickie marts can be a little more expensive than like the gas the popular gas station or whatever yeah. in your area. Don't you got Piggly Wigglies down there? Uh no, we've got uh I'm trying to think of uh, Valor, I'm trying to remember how to I say got Wawa. We got Wawa's up Morello's here. Morello's or something like that is the name of it. The Quickie Mart type deal? Yeah, you go in and get sodas, energy drinks, cigarettes, beer. Now, that's uh, one thing we can't get in grocery stores and convenience stores here. Uh, they tried passing it in grocery stores like years ago, but it didn't go through. So, like, when I was visiting, be visiting other states on my way to Florida before like we would stop it, go in a grocery store and there'd be alcohol in there. I'm like, what the fuck? This is weird. It was just so alien to me, <laughs> you know, having alcohol in a, in a grocery store. Just, yep. There's all the 30 packs stacked up. Yeah. The Meyer up here has a liquor store inside of it. Inside of Meyer, it. Meyer uh, wine and spirits. Yeah. We got a whole ass department in the grocery <laughs> store for liquor. <laughs> Yeah, that's just weird to me. I'm not used to that. <coughs> Excuse me. You good? But yeah, I think Kroger has got a section, but they don't got a like a separate store <laughs> inside the store. <coughs> My wife drank wine on New Year's, right? <coughs> took like one sip. It took all day, and I'm thinking in my head, "Are you gonna drink that?" I'm gonna, drink that. I'm gonna drink that. Thank God I didn't know. <laughs> well, is drinking um, a problem in your life? Would you consider it to be like such a bad thing? Why you shouldn't be able to enjoy a couple drinks once in a while? Because me, it was causing a lot of problems in my life. I would black out, get in fights, do stupid shit when I wasn't safe and sound in my own house and room where I could just pass out in my, you know, I'd get in trouble to get blackout drunk and do stupid shit. Yeah, I mean, it becomes a money pit because I like to drink with people. And then not only am I buying alcohol for me, but I'm like buying alcohol for other people and things like that. So, so it's yeah, just a financial I, issue. You don't black yeah. out and get into fights like I do. Well, it's a financial issue for my wife. She's the one that claims it's a financial issue. But yeah, <laughs> she, she's um, always saying, you know, if you would quit drinking and quit smoking you'd save so much more money and this and that and you know it is what it is mm -hmm. i think she's just more or less looking out for my health yeah i can feel it though um too uh like the uh day after uh, i drank this past weekend um i felt like unhealthy and had like a I just felt like these aches in my chest and abdomen, like, you know, it's just, uh, I'm slowly dying. And it gets worse, like, every time I drink. You would think she would try to stop me from drinking the energy drinks, though. Man, I think that 
I, I tell people all the time that shit's like liquid cocaine. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that G fuel man had me wired. It did, man. I, I I've been up for three days off that shit, dude. Mm -hmm. I slept for like two hours the last three days. And I drink a lot of coffee, you know, so I'm used to caffeine. But yeah, I don't know that that G fuel is a whole nother. I don't know if it is the caffeine in the G fuel or is it some kind of other energy stimulant? I, I have no know. idea. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't really look at the ingredients on it. Yeah, <laughs> for real. It's like what, this <laughs> what the fuck's in this shit? It could be fucking meth. We're we're ingesting meth. <laughs> Nah, well, Keemstar promotes it, so I trust Keemstar. It's just you got to be careful not to drink too much of it, or or else, yes, you will be wired like a motherfucker. Yeah, last night when I was in the studio, man, I uh, finally passed out. At the, I was mastering and mixing some stuff, and I finally passed out at the the, the, the keyboard. And Steve got up. He come in there. He said, "Man, you okay?" And uh, he was like, "You need some more of that powder shit in the can." <laughs> I was like, I guess. Damn. Yeah, but no props to you, man, for trying to do your best to stay sober. Um, you're a better man than I. Yeah, I try. Yeah. I can't fuck with Sean too much anymore because he's always drinking and carrying on. And if I hear man. the name Sarah one more time, dude, I'm going to put a gun to my head. And plus, you're a religious man, right? Yeah. So that that's good. You're trying to be a better Christian. Well, I mean, it's it's mainly because of my son. You know, like I I want to be around when he gets older. And you want to set a good example for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So, like, even when I'm drinking, I don't drink around the house. I'll go to the bar. Or I'll go. Mm -hmm. To a friend's house or something like that. I, I've never really had the issue where I've been drinking in front of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had beer in the house, but I'll go somewhere else and drink it where it's not in front of him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Alcohol totally fucked my life up. It killed my dad. You know, my uncle had a problem with drinking before he OD'd to own freaking, uh, runs in my family, I guess. Yeah, my, my uncle had a problem with it, my dad. And, you know, the thing is, it's like my, my uncle had uh, juvenile type diabetes. Mm. So he didn't just struggle with, you know, the whole alcohol thing being a problem with his diabetes and stuff like he just didn't he didn't give a fuck man he, he'd eat chocolate cake and not give a fuck if he was going to go into a di uh, diabetic coma or nothing mm -hmm. watching that as a kid you now my dad he's he's got uh i think type one diabetes and he does look, he does a little better but, yeah what's uh, really what's really a killer though is uh heroin and pills you know, it's killed so many of my friends. Yeah, my, my stepbrother's into that shit. And it, it really... It's hard for them to get off because even if they do get clean, they're still hooked on methadone and suboxone. Yeah. And it's hard to get off of that. Well, it's like they trade one addiction for another to get you off of it. Mm, that's like and that's my brother. cradle. When I, when I told my brother I was going to quit smoking... He was like, uh, well, try the e-cigarettes. I'm like, oh, hell no. Because if I, if I go to, a, if I go to that, one. I'm just trading one addiction for another. I ain't going to be able to get off of that. <laughs> well, use vape juice that doesn't have nicotine in it. It's just a habit of inhaling something, you know, and all you're inhaling is, is water vapor. You know, like well, you're that, in, that's kind of weird in itself because you're, you're, you know, your lungs and water. I, I don't know. I, that is weird, yeah. And then the <laughs> whole, uh, the whole uh, popcorn lung myth, you know, that yeah, yeah. permanently damages your lungs. I don't know. It's weird. And you got to be sure you get the right juice and carts for it, you know. Like I was watching something about um, generic uh, THC carts, like in the city at different bodegas and stuff. This guy was walking around store to store, and they were all selling fake carts that could make you sick, you know. 
damn. Yeah, so that that was actually killing a couple people a couple years ago. I remember that fake carts killing people. Never know. <clears throat> well, that's weird because the first carts my um, local smoke shop started selling, they didn't pass the bubble test. Like uh, from the video I watched. They were the bootleg carts, the first ones that my local smoke shop was selling. But they got these other ones in now. They passed the bubble test, and I think that it, it's they're the more legit carts, you know. So right. They didn't kill me though. The first ones didn't kill me, and I liked them. They got me high, so I wasn't complaining. Yeah, I've, I've never actually, I've never actually tried them yet. But my brother said he was like, I'll, "I'll buy you a mod and everything." And I was looking at the price on it, and it's like damn near a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, "Nah, don't, don't, don't waste your money on that. <laughs> I probably won't use it." <laughs> you right. Know what I'm right. But yeah. Mm. I think it's easier for me to go get a little box of $40 gum here and there and see if that works. And then if that don't work, then I'll try my brother's idea and see, because you were just telling me that uh, you can, you can lower the nicotine count in it. So I, I didn't know all that. Oh yeah. You can get vape juice without no nicotine. Yeah. yeah. Well, he'd be blowing big smoke clouds with the, with the one he's got. Mm -hmm. Oh so yeah, like, got, I don't they understand. They got competitions and stuff that they do on YouTube. Right, to get with them. Right, uh, I, and I can't hit it when like their mod is turned all the way up. If I try hitting it, I can only take a little bit, and it hurts. It makes me cough my ass off. But no, they're sitting there choking it up, chiefing, and blowing out these big ass clouds. Like, damn, how can you handle that? Like, I can take big hits of weed, but that vape shit, God no. <laughs> Like, I have to turn down the mod, you know, turn it down to a low wattage or whatever. Yeah, it's lucky they ain't blowing their lungs out doing that. Shit hurts. I just can't imagine smoking. That's like smoking water. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. That's just like being in a hot shower or a steam room, a sauna, or whatever, what have you. It's. I think it's actually healthy for you, you know? helps it helps clear out your nasal and lung passages i think it helps and you know the water just ends up like i don't know evaporating or soaking into your body i'm not sure but oh no i have to do some research on it before i start getting into something like that mm -hmm. That's what one everyone the, always told me. The guys on my bowling league smokes one, and they make him go outside with it. So I don't know if it has the same, uh, mm -hmm. was it secondhand smoke effects or whatever? Well, you, it's like just you can smell it. it. You can smell the fruitiness of it or whatever, like the flavor, you know. And so, like, it's not like a nasty cigarette smell. You're smelling something fruity or some shit. But you know, for some reason, that still offends people, even if it is a pleasant smell. So you have to take it outside. Yeah. They jump on him all the time. He's like, man, it's a, it's, it's not going to hurt anything. Right. And I, he, he was smoking a strawberry one the other day, man. That just smelled good. It made me hungry as fuck, man. Well, and just I'm think like, now with COVID. <laughs> yeah, they smell good. Uh, just think now with the COVID, you know, those big clouds of smoke, they could be blowing out, could be infected with COVID. You know, yeah, so I there guess was that's a dude the on the league that said that, man. He's like, we could breathe, breathe it in your shit, man, your sickness or whatever. Yeah, like, are you, you kidding have me? No, I'm serious. <laughs> that is true. I, 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 I think I, I agree with that. You know, like the, there's big clouds of smokes. It could be filled with uh, uh, the uh, three or four different strains of COVID there are now. Yeah, I didn't think about that myself, but yeah. So. Yeah, I've been smoking, just, smoking weed in the parking lot <laughs> up there now. Uh, do you think it helps you bowl more better? It it loosens me up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, I told you about my teammate. He pulled a knife on my other teammate, and so what? We've been, yeah, we've been searching for a. Uh, yeah, it, it's fucked up, man. I, I don't thought remember I you telling me that. I don't remember that at all. 
Yeah, he uh uh he pulled a knife out on my other teammate, and evidently they were like working at McDonald's together. He wants like a relationship with her, and they got into an argument. She's like supposed to be getting married. There's just like a whole bunch of shit behind the scenes, and I'm like, keep that shit outside the bowling alley. So he's been like pre bowling or not showing up and different things, and just like I'm gonna light this blunt up in the parking lot, and I'll be good. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. I mean, she just don't want him like that, man. He needs to get over that, you know? Mm -hmm. It ain't that serious. There's other fish in the sea. You know? <laughs> and she's trying to get married anyway, so I mean, why are you even trying to do that? Mm -hmm. Kind of inappropriate, if you ask me. But now he's afraid to come to the bowling alley, I think. I think because he's afraid I'm going to do something to him, but I ain't, I ain't going to fuck with him. I mean, I ain't going to let him hurt nobody either, but I mean, damn. Uh, what up, Dermont? Sick gun smoke. Hmm. Well, shit the bed. Uh, but no, that's crazy. Pulling out knives and shit. God damn. Yeah, it's just nuts, man. But but you never know with her either, man, because she's she's got some issues too, uh, mentally. So you never know. He could have just been pulled out something and just been playing with it or something, and she perceived it to be something else. You just don't know, because I, I mean, I wasn't there when it happened. I just know what each of them tells me. But I know he's being he's he's avoiding everybody. So to me, that's like you know, why would you avoid a bunch of people if you really didn't do anything? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm hitting the bowl. Damn, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about Sorry that. About that. Oh, you're good. So when you when hit you the hit studio? studio? Uh, probably in a couple of hours. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just waiting on my homie to come over and scoop me up. Cool, cool. I mean, I was over there last night and the day before, and I kind of needed a, a few hour break, <laughs> if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All to sleep at the uh, the mixing board. That ain't good. Yeah, you need to stop drinking so much energy drinks and um, just drink some water or juice or something, fam. To get work that shit out of your system so you can get a good rest. Yeah. You know, like I'll drink coffee, but I've I've been taking it easy on the uh, G fuel the past couple of days because I couldn't sleep the other night. So I'm like, fuck that shit. Only if I'm trying to stay up to play a video game or something, sure, then I'll drink some G fuel. So then I won't. I'll yeah. just stay up all night playing the fucking video game on G fuel. Yeah, that shit had me jacked up, man. I don't know what's in that stuff, man. But shoot. Mm hmm. Yeah, it doesn't make you like. I wouldn't say manic or like a real caffeine buzz, you know, like a, you know, like a, like you're wired, but it is, actually, it is like you're wired, but it is like it says on the front, it said it helps with your focus concentration. And it's like, yeah, I guess it just keeps you up too. I don't know, but, um, that's yeah, why it's I gamer got to fuel. A point where I was so focused on what I was doing that, uh, Stevie was like, we, we got to stop. We got to slow down. We got to take some breaks here and there, man. I'm like, no, 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 man. We got to get this done. <laughs> mm. He was like, man, I don't know if you should drink that stuff no more because it, it makes you want to keep doing what you're doing and, and make things perfect and shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, man. It's, uh, 
It tastes good though. <laughs> it didn't taste bad. But the effects are kind of strange as far as when compared to other energy drinks that are out there. Well, I like taking it with my cradle too. I don't know. Maybe that's why I couldn't sleep as well because I've been out of cradle for a few days. Um, but yeah, between yeah having a buzz from the uh, G fuel and not having cradle. Um, yeah, I just I couldn't I tossed and turned. I couldn't get to bed. And then I think I did pass out for like 10, 15 minutes at one point and it like had to hit play on the YouTube video and then just laid there more and couldn't get back to bed until like freaking eight in the morning. I slept. Now it was after eight when I finally got to bed and then I had to wake up at uh, 1 30 to get ready for a, a Zoom meeting with my counselor. Right. So I didn't miss that. Luckily, my alarms woke me up and I woke up and, you know, uh, got ready for the Zoom meeting. So, you know, counseling's been going well. I like the guy. Yeah, he, he wasn't too happy to hear. He wasn't too happy to hear about me relapsing. You know, I could just see the look on his face. You know, he was a little mad at me. She so tried to give you uh, alternatives to drinking. No, he he didn't really actually try to counsel me that well. I basically talk his ear off the whole time when I go live. I mean, not go live, but when I have to talk to him for like 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes even less, sometimes at one time it was actually only 40 minutes and we cut it short. But I could, I just basically talk his ear off for an hour about what's going on in my life and opinion on things and stuff. And sometimes I bounce around, I rant and I bounce around and I just keep talking and talking. Then I'll talk about something else and that'll segue into something else. And I just can't shut the fuck up, you know? Yeah, most of most of the therapy people I've had, they kind of they have to. I don't know what it is. I just I've had so many different therapists in my life and shit that I'm just like fuck this. I'm not explaining my story over and over again. So they kind of had to coax me to uh get me to talk to them when I first meet them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just not that open with people. Because I'm always afraid that uh, shit can get twisted a certain way or said a certain way. And then, you know, the whole telephone game thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, with counselors, you know, they're not everything you say to them is confidential unless you say you're going to hurt yourself or someone else. You know, it's not like the counselor, the therapist on um, GTA 5. I don't know if you know about that. <laughs> You know, if you sit there and say, oh, yeah, I just killed all these people. And, you know, it's there. They have to tell someone, I believe, you know, but everything else is purely confidential. So. I mean, yeah, yeah like, I don't know. I try to be as open as possible with my counselor but i do that anyways with everyone so it's like no big change for me i mean you know? i'm open with like friends like you know that i talk to and shit but mm -hmm. like professionals have the power to you know therapists and doctors and shit they have the power to ruin your life if they want to to get you, you on the different meds you know fuck with your medications throw mm -hmm. you in a mental ward or something you know just any stupid thing like that you know mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, I didn't like I said, I told tell my counselor, like, I, I'm not going to try to kill myself, but I do want to die. I wouldn't mind if someone came up behind me and shot me in the back of the head. I've been like that for years, you know, basically my whole fucking life. I want to die. And that's why I like Twisted so much, because they talk about wanting to die in their, some of their music. <laughs> you know, it's just I love fucking Twisted so much. I'm a crazy Twisted serial killing Juggalo fan. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of like that, too. I, I definitely wouldn't go out like Kurt Cobain or anything, but uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind being fucking gun smoked in the back of the head. Mm hmm. As Dermot Dillon would say. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I have a drinking problem because I hate reality. I hate being awake. I just want to drink it away and escape reality and go to sleep and never wake up. 
But I can't it's die. weird. It's weird. I, I get really depressed and shit. And it's like one of them situations where I had a friend from church tell me, but you have everything. God's pretty much giving you everything. You have a roof over your head. You have a kid. You have a wife. You got your music. You got all these different things. You got your friends, you know. Why Why do you feel that way? Like, mm-hmm. It's a fucking mental illness. I don't know. It just happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was kind of wondering that, that, that myself, you know, like, why the fuck do, do people like us feel that way? What, what the exactly. Hell That's exactly what I said to my counselor, too. Like, I, I don't I, I'm not even focusing on one thought or a bunch of different thoughts or whatever. It's just for some reason, I just have this overwhelming feeling of not wanting to be here. And it's like I want to consume these things and it's never enough. It is never enough. I want it all. I want more. And I'm, I'm never satisfied. So that's basically where I stand. I have a very, I have a problem abusing things. <laughs> All right. I, I got to switch devices here and go out for a cigarette. Speaking of substance abuse. I'm probably going to hop off here anyway. So. Oh, okay. Good deal. I'll just end it then. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, Mike. All right, everyone else. Um, thanks for watching to uh, the one viewers in the chat right now. Much clown love. <clears throat> whoopity whoopity friend.